This election season has divided the country like no other. Opposing views can not only impact your mental health, but can sever friendships or damage relationships between family members. There are ways to keep the peace. Caroline Bach has you covered. Our country is divided more than ever. With less than two weeks to go, this election has gotten personal, raising mental health concerns no matter which side you're on. You almost feel and put them into a category as if they're your enemy uh, rather than your friend or your family. Uh, and in doing so, when you, when you sort of view the other person as an enemy, um, you tend to engage in a fight. Dr. K. Luan Fan leads the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Health at Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center. He says having mutual respect is key. Really productive conversations will unite our country rather than divide it. To keep the peace, Dr. Fan says to hold your emotions in check, recognize and respect other perspectives, have a calm dialogue, don't turn it into a debate. Instead, make it more of an interview where you ask questions and listen rather than argue, and switch out the word how with why in your questions. Starting a conversation by by giving the impression that um, you think that they are so silly, so ignorant uh, to think the opposite way by starting the, 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 the question of how can you think this way? I think it's more important to sort of ask, why do you think this way? Because it elicits more of an explanation uh, rather than an argument. If a conversation gets too heated, Dr. Fon says, walk away. Start again when you're in a calmer state.